After Chandler Catanzaro surprisingly retired, the Jets have brought in Taylor Bertolette to be our new place kicker. J-E-T-S, Jets, Jets, Jets! Welcome to Jets Talk. My name's Ryan. I'll be your pilot tonight. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button. If you've been here before, welcome back. I love having you here. Guys, I'm going to be live streaming during the Jets-Falcons preseason game, so don't forget to hit that bell icon so you don't miss that. The Jets brought in a few kickers over the last few days, including Blair Walsh and Chris Blewett, which might be the worst name for a field goal kicker I have ever heard. I'm guessing Joe It's a Miss and Ralph Hits the Crossbar were both taken and unavailable for workouts. In the end, the Jets decided to go with Taylor Bertolette, who spent time with the Jets last preseason. Last year, he went 4-for-4 four four on field goals and 3-for-4 on PATs before ultimately losing out in the kicking competition to Pro Bowl kicker Jason Myers, who the Jets let walk to Seattle. A lot of Jet fans really wanted us to trade for the backup kicker and punter for the Baltimore Ravens, Kari Vedvik. Kari Vedvik. Vedvik. Kari Vedvik. A.A. Ron, where are you? Where is A.A. Ron right now? He was traded to the Vikings for a fifth round pick. Now, this is something that I think the Jets really should have considered. I think a fifth round pick, while I don't like giving up picks for a kicker, this is a situation where I might have been okay with it. You're looking at a guy who is able to kick and punt for the team. Now, imagine having an extra roster spot to have that extra player on the on the roster. It could be an extra linebacker, an extra corner, maybe an extra offensive lineman, things of that nature. I think it would have been something interesting to see. Now, neither of these guys have kicked in the NFL before. Uh, Vedvik was injured last year and was put on the NFL injury list or, you know, unavail unavailable to play. Not that he was going to beat out uh, Tucker anyway. And obviously, uh, Bertolette has spent time with the Rams, the Broncos, and the Jets, but has never kicked in an NFL game. Now, even though Taylor has not kicked in the NFL before, he was the place kicker for the Salt Lake Stallions in the AAF this past offseason. One thing to note that Phil Savage, who we brought in this offseason, was the GM of the Arizona Hotshots. So when they were developing that league, he obviously did a little bit of scouting on all the players, and he probably had some type of influence on this decision. During his time in the AAF, he went 9 for 14 on field goals and was 4 for 7 on kicks over 50 yards. And Bertolet does have a strong leg. He has videos on YouTube of him kicking four consecutive 60-yard field goals and then even one going over 70 yards. We'll probably bring in some kind of competition for Bertolette, even though last year he did go... Oh, god damn it. I don't expect the Jets to just settle on Bertolette, even though he did go 4 for 4 on field goals and 3 for 4 on PATs last preseason. Uh, but I do think it's a good place to start. You know this guy, or at least some of the players know this guy. It's not like it's the same coaching staff that's uh, working him out. Uh, but let me know what you guys think down below. And as always, go Jets.